Hi. Now we will talk about the best idea on how to deliver OSS in business on open source way. Not every open source software conform the open source terminology. First of all, we should uh, understand that OSS in this talk means uh, refers to open source software. We um, distinguish a pure open source with a non-pure open source. The pure one which comply the licensing model which is on the website opensource.org. You can see that the website later maybe. And uh, you can see the, the license model like GPL or BSD. And uh, there are some others that we don't talk about is a non-pure one since it is have a, a company in the behind of the project and has some intent of interest. Okay. So the open source we are talking right now is the one who pure one. Okay. And actually there are two options to deliver the pure open source in the business. That usually we saw it as a forking as a commercial business model. Like for example like a Red Hat. So it is uh, fork as a, a license model, subscription license, something something like that. And uh, the one that we wanted to talk is do it as an open source way. What's that? So do it in open source way, it means to deliver also the spirit. Because we know that open source is not only the software, the source code that being open but also the movement, the license, the delivery, and the spirit. We want it to liberate people, set them free, right? Set them free. So we don't re-license. We deliver the license of open source all the way to the client, so they get the, the most benefit of uh, uncommercial license. And they don't... Uh, bind to one of two company to one company only they can choose any company they can support them but also not only to set them free we should do our responsibility we have to master the software why since uh, open source is something like orphan it requires a foster parent to do the responsibility in the production system so we have to master the source code. We also have to master the operation, the business. So we can becoming the resource for the client to use open source in a comprehensive manner, provisionally. Okay. And the third is uh, define the corridor. We should define the corridor, something like how to implement, what to do, what's done, to, what not to do it and uh, the procedure, the best practice, the tuning, the report, any other else. And also, since yeah, uh, the technical support, the expert level support, and the principal support. That's uh, the complete corridor that we should deliver to the clients because open source actually is not complete product. We should complete it. And this is the most important things. We have to able to contribute to develop the ecosystem. What is that? Ecosystem means anything that surrounding to the implementation of technology. You can see that uh, when uh, we implement open source, we have to have a, a certification maybe training, documentation, anything. And we have to master the delivery and also help to set the standard of implementation and operation and business conduct of the open source in their industry. And the six, the last but at least, delivering open source, we have to deliver professionally. Because 
some people think open source is uh, something like not really much uh, serious business but we have to make it in the same level of any other enterprise solution to make it very professional delivery to make them uh, having peace of mind to use open source as it is to use the enterprise class software delivery okay that's the my five minutes of lightning talks about how to do open source in business in open source way thank you very much thank you bye bye